Hi guys, it's Cheryl from My Well-Rounded Life. Tonight I have a coffee tag for you. I was tagged by Beck from Beck's Corner and it's a few questions about how I take my coffee and my coffee likes and dislikes. And at the end I'm gonna tag a couple people as well. I am in the process of making a pot of coffee, no, not a pot of coffee, a cup of, uh, it's like a cappuccino, um, but I got tired of standing there waiting for the tea kettle to boil, so I thought I'd get started. I am making myself a cup of this Maxwell House International. It's the French vanilla, and I also get the mocha, but I get the decaf and the sugar-free. That way I could have it any time of the day, and I don't have to worry about the sugar. And uh, there's about 19 servings in this whole container. And we've got several of them in the house. Or the hair. I just kissed Gracie. And just before, earlier, after I had lunch, it's like 8 o'clock at night. I don't know what time it is. And I just had lunch a couple hours ago. Afterwards, I had one of these for the first time. The Hershey's Gold. Have you tried it? Ooh. It was weird. First, I thought it was neat that it smelled like peanuts. Uh-oh. My water's boiling, I'll be right back. Thank you for holding. I'm back with my coffee, which is entirely too hot to touch because it was just boiling a second ago. And it is after 8.30, so thank God it's decaffeinated. Not that caffeine really affects me too much. Um, it doesn't wake me up in the morning. I don't need coffee, ever. It's just something that I enjoy to drink. Uh, if I drank regular coffee right now, it wouldn't affect me when I went to bed later on. But just to play it safe, I do the decaf from dinner on. Okay, we'll get started on the coffee tag. Question number one, light, medium, or dark roast? I prefer a medium roast, um, though I, I do enjoy um, a nice French roast sometime, which is really dark, and a blonde. There's a, there's a blonde from Starbucks that I like. Is it called Veranda? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I like that. It's very mellow, uh, but just for regular everyday coffee, I do like um, a medium roast, a breakfast blend, something like that. Uh, question number two, beans or ground? I only ever buy ground um, because I don't have a grinder for beans, though they're supposed to be fresher if you, you know, use it, uh, start with the beans. Question number three, espresso or drip? Espresso is too strong for me. Drip coffee is just regular coffee maker coffee, so I go with the drip. Uh, question four, how do you like your coffee? Just with my, my cream, that's it. No sugar of any kind. Uh, I just enjoy that. Once in a while, I might put a flavor, a flavored cream in um, my coffee but no sugar and not black. I love the smell of coffee, but why can't it taste like it smells? I don't know, so I can't drink it black. Question number six, how many cups a day? If I have coffee at all, it's usually just one cup a day. Um, and some days it's that first thing in the morning cup of coffee, and sometimes it's that cup of decaf in the evening because I'm just suddenly in the mood for coffee. Um, and I will drink it when I'm out at a restaurant or something. I do love diner coffee. And uh, I have a brand that I buy. It's um, The local store here is called The Giant, and they have their own brand of decaf. And I buy those K-Cups. And that tastes like diner coffee. It's the best tasting coffee that I have ever purchased out in a store anywhere to bring home and make at home and I just love it. And right now I'm out. I'm using Green Mountain, I think, decaf right now. So I have to get more of the Giant brand because that's spectacular. Number seven, latte or cappuccino? I've had both. I think lattes are just a little too flat and boring for me. A cappuccino is more um, a creamier. It's, it's depending on the, the uh, flavor you get it could be more like hot chocolate you know Bob Evans has delicious cappuccino and I like that that's just a mug you could hold and enjoy it's it's richer it's creamier thicker so definitely a cappuccino for me 
Number eight, iced or hot. I'm just going to go right down the line 50-50 on that. I could drink hot coffee any day of the week, anywhere, any time of the year. And I feel exactly the same way with iced coffee. I only like iced coffee from two places. Uh, the first is McDonald's. I get a medium iced coffee with sugar-free vanilla. It is delicious. And the second place is right here in my own kitchen. I've never had a better tasting uh, iced coffee than mine or McDonald's. So right down the middle, I love both equally. And I can drink iced coffee winter or summer, but I tend to drink it a lot less in the winter time. Like I, I haven't had an iced coffee in a while. Um, but it's not to say that I won't get one tomorrow. All right, number nine, Starbucks or Dunkin'? Neither. I don't like, I don't like the price. I don't care for most of the products. I mentioned earlier that Starbucks makes a, a blonde, a very light coffee, but I could buy that at the grocery store, which is where I've gotten it before, not from Starbucks. I'm just not a fan of either places, though I have, you know, purchased from both. I just find it really unnecessary. Though, you know, if we're out shopping, uh, we have Starbucks in the, our grocery stores. And, you know, sometimes, once in a while, I'll get something. It's more of a treat or something. But every single time I get it, uh, whether it's from a, you know, the uh, Target or the grocery store or a standalone store, I'm always somehow disappointed in the flavor. It's not what I expected. The last thing I got at a Starbucks was called a... What is it called? A flat white? I think it's called a flat white or a white flat. I don't know. Flat white. And I was like, that's it? It just, it's coffee. It's coffee. That's it. So I was really disappointed because you pay more for that than you would a regular cup of coffee with cream from Starbucks. So, eh, I could, I could uh, leave both of them easily. I don't even like the donuts at Dunkin's. The giant supermarkets make much better tasting donuts than Dunkin's ever. All right, number 10, uh, favorite coffee flavor, plain. I just like plain old flavored coffee. If I want a flavor in my coffee, it will come in the form of my creamer. And once in a while, I like a little flavor, like the peppermint mocha that you get at Christmas time. I don't do pumpkin flavor much at all of anything, really, except for pie. Um, I do like some hazelnut. That's probably my favorite coffee flavor, coffee creamer flavor though. So number 11, regular or decaf? During the day regular, from dinner on decaf. I always keep both in the house and I always drink both. Keurig or coffee maker? We have a Keurig so that's what we're using. We've been using one for six years now. Um, so I like it. I can buy some really cheap uh, K-cups, get some good deals, coupons, whatever. It's been keeping me in coffee for a long time. I haven't broken down and bought like the teas in there. We still buy our teas by either, you know, tea bags or loose tea and make it that way. But uh, I do like my K-cups. And I will try all brands, including the Dollar Tree. However, I had to throw away two boxes of coffee K-cups from the Dollar Tree because they tasted bad. There was something wrong with it. You could smell it. You could taste it. And I knew it was that. It wasn't my water. It wasn't the coffee maker. It wasn't the creamer. It was the actual K-cups. And I had to throw two boxes of four away. And I don't think I have any more in the house and I'm afraid to buy it because I don't want to waste even a dollar on another bad box and I don't know what happened if I got a bad batch I can't tell you what it tasted like it uh, was, it's kind of like medicinal it was really gross because as soon as I was I, I you know I dumped it down the sink after I tasted it and then I made a, another cup of a different K cup and it's perfectly fine so I know it had to be the coffee and I'm really disappointed so, and I've been buying those and using those um, for about a year and telling everybody in, the, in my halls, get this coffee from the Dollar Tree, it's delicious. And all of a sudden I feel like I'm being poisoned. So I don't know, I'm afraid. I will probably make myself buy another box and try it again because you can't beat it for the price. And if I have to throw it away, 
um, then I will definitely stop buying it. That's for sure. All right. Oh, hey, guess what? Curec or Coffee Maker was the last one. Number 12. All right, so that's it for my coffee tag. And I am going to tag Melissa from Melissa's Kitchen Table. Hopefully she drinks coffee, she and her husband. If not, then she'll just not do it. And also T from TD and Family. If she uh, drinks coffee, it would be great to see, um, to find out how she likes her coffee. Let me try mine now and see if I can touch it. Mm-hmm. Mm. That is creamy and delicious. You know what? I feel like I did. I skipped one. Cream or milk? How did I skip that? Number five. Because when I tasted it, I was like, gee, that's really creamy. And then I realized I skipped one. Cream or coffee? I always use light cream. Plain old light cream from the container. I don't like regular milk in it because other than that, all we have in the house is skim milk. And the only thing skim milk does to black coffee is turn it gray. That's really gross. So I always use um, regular light cream. If I'm going to drink coffee um, occasionally like I do, then it's going to taste good. And I'm pretty sure I answered everything else. How do I like my coffee? Gee, now I'm going to have to go back and see. Did I answer that one? Just cream, no sugar? I think I did. All right, let's end this now because I don't want to keep second-guessing myself. Anyway, Melissa and T, uh, I hope that you drink coffee and do this tag also that I got from Beck from Beck's Corner. Give these uh, channels uh, a try. What's the matter? Sorry. Beck's Corner, Melissa's Kitchen Table, TD and Family. Give them a try. And uh, if you like them, subscribe so you can start watching all of their wonderful videos. Uh, until I see you again, be blessed.